So we got the Luna. Now, this is not the Luna Luna. Uh, yeah, Luna tick. And by the way, um, if you get the blue, get some of this too. Glass cleaner with pneumonia in it. Because um, you'll need it for the blue. I don't know. You can get the Luna Mayus in these other colors. Look at the other colors. And this is just regular titanium, which you might want to do, okay? Then you won't have to take the smudgies off of this. But uh, I got the blue because I'm a sucker. You know me. And green, bronze. So however you want to do that. And you can order these. I'll give you the link to the Real Steel site. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, th this is interesting because this used to be a small knife. Now it's huge. It's huge. Instead of a 2.75 inch blade being a slip joint, this is now a titanium lockback. And the blade is now three inches. Holy crap, not three inches. Yep, a full bust ass three inches. And I'll prove it to you in some way if I can find my oh my uh, my measuring tape here see look at that even to the furthest way and out here holy crap not three and a quarter the bolster and that's almost 85 millimeters but up here more like 80 okay and 7.2 inches overall length no that's insane 18.3 centimeters. A bowler, the finest Austrian made bowler, N690, only the finest. Poltergeist. Poltergeist works design. And it's contoured. Did I already say that? Contoured. And it comes with this thumb stud. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at this real quick. Oh, okay. I mean, I kept thinking, did, did I have that little... I had a little... Maybe a little wrench came with it, and I have now uh, taken it away somehow or another. Uh, maybe it's that number, number five or number six. Where's my little number six up here? Let me see if that'll work on here. And now it's going to take one of those little hex jobs. I'm thinking, check that out. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'm going to leave it on because I don't live in a communist country, so I can have it. But you can take this off if you want. And that way you have to one hand it because you're evil demon if you, you know, whatever. Uh, but here, we can just do that. We can do that. It's good. It's good. And. Can you really kind of handle it? Yeah, you can handle it one-handed. See, this hand's over here. It's it's minding its own business, okay? It's over there. Don't look at it. See this? One single hand, and I'm kind of just kicking it out of its uh, deal. There it is. See? Mission accomplished. <sighs> real steel. It's the real deal. Now... You may ask yourself, self, will it cut anything? Okay. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And it'll cut paper. Probably cut a lot of different things, actually. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a factory edge on it. Oh, by the way, come to think of it, this thing is a hoss, though. So get ready, because this is a huge heavy knife 120 grams what will you have guessed i would have guessed like under 100 <laughs> i'm kind of being a little bit facetious but 4.25 ounces hold on 4.25 ounces i mean you get it i mean look at this this is what we call a full-size knife 4.5, 4.25. Now, 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 now. Let's 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 compare a little bit here. Okay, what do we got? Luna Mayus, LTK Mayus Knot, and uh, 
Yeah. It is almost the same weight. Okay. So that's crazy. That is crazy. But let me see what we have for blade stock on this. The Luna Maeus. It's cool, huh? Lock back now. 0 0.08. 2.2. 2 .2. 2.2 silly millimeters in there and 10.2 at a 0.4 so it's slender slender in the pocket uh you know when i look this over actually being serious about it now um and there's still a little moisture on there from the windex when i sprayed this sucker down because i've been handling it so it, it looked like crap otherwise i i sh you know I, I wanted to spray it down at least so it it looked decent to start with um, but look at the pocket clip. So it is a nice titanium, good looking piece of stuff. And guess what? It's screwed on from the inside, isn't it? And look at these screws. Are they sixes? Hold on. Let me get this back again. Ooh, no, they number eights. Because we great. So we great with the number eight. So, yeah. Um, and oh. Who, 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 what do you think that connects to, my friends? So that'll be interesting. We could pop the thing apart and take a look-see at our lock back. But, man, that's, that's okay. That's okay. It's, I mean, I think it'll get more drop shutty. I don't know if you want it to get too drop shutty if you're going to one-hand it like it. You don't want this blade swinging around and hitting you. but. In this case, yeah, it's going to be a nice lock back. So you can work with this. I mean, I like the overall design. I like the Luna. So this is uh, this is insane. And, oh, by the way, uh, they out and out said to me in their email that this is going to be coming out in like a G10 version. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now, when are they going to make the lunatic like three and a half inch blade? When are they going to do that? Okay, we got to start a movement on that direction. That would be great. Can you see this in, in a three and a half to 3.75 inch blade G10? Then I don't know about lockback at that point, right? Uh, of course, you know, you got triad locks on all kinds of uh, cold steel knives that are synthetic handles, right? So, you could do that, um, but that'd be interesting, be interesting. Um, if they would do it, like, either in a liner lock or maybe an axis-type lock, you know, that kind of thing. But this is a, a good-looking little knife right here. Well, it's kind of behaving for me so far. I haven't muddled it up on the blue there's different kind of voltages you can do with Anno. Some are a little bit more susceptible to losing the color when you get oils and stuff on them, and others are more resilient. So I don't, you know, I can't tell you what this, what voltage this was shot at. But, and you've got a nice little lanyard area. At least you've got a cutaway here so that paracord will sit there and it won't interfere. It won't, the knife won't lay on it or whatever. But the hardware looks good. Fit and finish is good. It's not like real steel doesn't make a good knife. And that's centered up. We're good there. I mean, I'm imagining that these are washers in here. Bronze washers. And we'll take a more complete look. This probably that's probably from my stupid um, <clears throat> Windex. Well, I'm, I'm going to need to take this apart. I'm going to wipe it up a little bit, too. So, and there's the inside. And so that begs the question, what's going on in there, buddy? With, they got some inlay that's reinforcing. There's something going on up there. So we'll take a look at that. But yeah, um, this might be a cleaner look, I guess, if you took the thumb stud off. But, you know, I really, with the lock back and everything, I think you need to kind of keep it. For that purpose, if, you know, your ordinances allow. And you know what? The ergos are good. It's nice. Uh, you got 
just uh, real easy. And you, I can get all four fingers on here. Now that it's a giant knife, I mean, I'm just trying to say it's a big dog now. Uh, so, and, you know, it's a sensible look too. I mean, it's a sensible design. Nothing, I mean, I've always liked the Luna and in the budget versions and the Luna Light and all that kind of stuff. In fact, you know, I'll put a link to uh, links down below of my other Luna videos that I've done over the past several years. Uh, so, I mean, uh, if you got a winner, uh, there's uh, variations on the theme, right? And I think that's appropriate. So, 7.2 overall length, 3 inch blade, 4.2 ounces. Uh, titanium contoured different colors, lock back, and obviously the lock back mechanism is steel. So, uh, and the ever dangerous Bowler N690, which is basically a D2 equivalent, satin grind, feels sturdy. Feels good. I mean, this can you can do some heavier stuff than like the Luna Light would allow you to. Okay, so I mean, obviously, we don't have an entry here. We do back here. The unfortunate thing is, I can't take the pocket clip without taking that on the front. So I'm going to need to do this to start with. And I feel that pocket clip already coming my way. And there's the screw. Well, think, of course, right? So there's the pocket clip. All right. And it's a uh, companion there. And, uh, you know, do I need to take, you know, am I gonna, oh, yeah, I already got Windex coming out the holes, don't I, from what I did earlier. But, okay, we'll dry it all down here in a minute. And... Let's take this pivot off. Don't, don't you jump out of there. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, you can see you got a captured pivot down here, of course. And since you don't have any entry here, that makes sense. So they're doing it right. Now, how about this? Let's do this. And we cracked it loose. And these are number eights. That's nice. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, oh, the other one was a pocket clip. So I guess uh, one's a long screw, one's a short screw. We can differentiate those. And there it is with, uh, well, some of that's obviously lubrication, right? That's what I'm thinking. It's not all my fault, is it? Or is it? Right, we'll just do this. Okay. But we wiped it out. Okay. So there it is in all its glory. And we will wipe it down a little bit more before we put it back together. But titanium. So there's the lock side. And then here's the steel. And, you know, I was kind of trying to figure out, like, what are they doing in here? Uh, but this is your lock. And so... Hold on, let's let's figure this out. Okay, so it releases the blade like this, and it pivots on this piece here, doesn't it? Okay. So will this? Oh, it will lift off ever so slightly. And let's uh, see what we have here. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. So now there's that. Okay. And here's this. And we got this pin. Okay. Now we got bronze. And it's greased up pretty good. And there's that. Okay. Let's take another look. Okay, so here's what's 
providing the spring thing for the and i've seen this kind of setup before okay so you got the lock bar and then this spring here that's giving it that that movement there okay okay and so if i took the blade out this lock bar is going to knock this sucker clear across the park isn't it kind of kind of sort of no so here we go with the bronze here. So I'll just clean that up as best I can. I can bring this little piece out if I want. You know, oop, there goes the uh, pivot. And there, it's captured, so it's squared off there, okay. And uh, bronze washer on the other side. Very thin bronze washer. And that's the setup, folks not terribly complicated okay yeah all right back with the luna mayas uh just uh, thought i'd put it up here and let you guys know it's available it's different it's not the slip joint it's a longer blade it's heavier it's a little heavier use knife a little heavier to carry, but it's got a nice mill titanium pocket clip and, you know, lock back, easy one hand opening, that kind of thing. So it's here. Uh, I'll give you the link to it. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.